Hello everybody and welcome back to the first lesson in the Intermediate Android Development course here on Academic Code. In this series we're really going to be extending that which we observed in the Fundamentals series. Hopefully you've had a chance to go through and watch that and you've built a few simple apps on your own. Uh, but in this series we're really going to be introducing some topics that are slightly more complex than the Fundamentals, starting with list views. Now, list views in Android are essentially a way to display lists of data to the user. They're fairly simple, uh, but we're going to go through a little bit more detail in this lesson here. So, first of all, what we're going to talk about is the need for list views, why we need them, is in particularly in mobile development. And then we're going to give an overview of what an array adapter is and how they're used to make list views work in Android. And then we're going to close this out by creating our own list view. We're actually going to just go through an example of where a list view was implemented in an Android app so you can understand some of the source code and the API calls that go along with that. So let's kick things off by understanding why we need list views. And it's fairly intuitive. It's because list views are a logical and familiar grouping of related elements, first of all. People are used to seeing things, users are used to seeing things in lists, shopping lists, list of favorite things to do. And it's also logical, if you, if you want to group things together, it just makes sense to do it in a list. Additionally, when you're working on mobile devices, particularly phones, you have a limited screen real estate. You really don't have enough space to place everything you want on the screen immediately so it's easier to just put things in a list sometimes so that you can simply scroll, scroll through the additional data when you need to and finally it's a common representation of data su such as an array there is data out there that's already in an array and we're, ex we're simply extending that into a list view to display in Android and as I said there we have data that's already in an array but it's typically unstructured it's just uh, raw data and when you're displaying something to a user you usually would want to format it or tidy up in some way and that's where Android uses what's known as an array adapter to take the raw data and make it look make it look presentable to the user so just to, to illustrate that example let's say we have a basic array of animals and we want to present that to the user. Well, if we wanted to use a list view, we'd have to use an array adapter, which would take that simple array, it would pass the raw data through it, and it would format it and manipulate it into a view, which would then be represented within that list view. So in this example, we've taken the animals and we've simply added some bars on the left, which if you're familiar with this layout, typically mean that you can drag around to reorder the items in the list here and uh, there's a little star on the right hand side to mark your favorite animal so just some simple tweaks to the data but essentially what we're doing is we're taking each array making it into its own view and then adding it into a list of views which comprises the list view so now we're going to go into a basic overview of how a list view is implemented in Android and then later we'll be able to I'll link you to the Android deep dive where we're going to go through list views and array adapters much more extensively so you can get in deep and uh, work through things on your own all right so here in Eclipse we have a really basic application that I've created for the purposes of this episode here in which we're showcasing list views and how they work so as you can see from the graphical layout of the XML file, we have a very simple view or a simple layout with a text view at the top and a list view just below. If we look in the XML, we'll see that we have a text view. It says my contact list and the list view right below it. So extremely simple here. And if we go over into main.java, which is the associated activity, we will see that we have two class variables, one representing the list view and the other representing a string array of names. And once we enter the onCreate 
callback here, when we first start the activity, we set the content view to main.xml so that the XML file is displayed. And then we associate the names class variable with the string array, which is embedded in the strings.xml file, which is contained in the values folder over here. So if we open that up, we will see we have the string array with all these names, and it's called names. And we're just calling get resources .get string array r .array names that parses that and pulls it into the string class the string array class variable there. And then we're associating the list view variable with the XML component list view. And then we're setting an array adapter to that list view. So we're telling the Android system this is how we want to use this simple adapter to adapt the, the raw data in the names array to views so they can be displayed in a list view. And we'll pass in all the relative parameters, the context, a simple text view, which in this case is defined by android.r.layout, and then the array which we want to use. We're using the utility as list to, to return a simple list of the, of the raw names array. And that adapter knows exactly what to do with all that, so that's all we need to do to get the array list to show. But additionally, we went ahead and set an on item click listener just so just to showcase how you can react to user input. And in this case, when a particular item in the array list is clicked, or sorry, in the list view is clicked, in particular the item associated with this item number here, which in this case is the index associated with the name that was clicked. All we're doing is simply posting a toast at the bottom of the screen with the associated name with that index that was clicked, and then we're showing the toast. So very, very basic application. I highly encourage you to check out the source code, which is linked in the description below, just so you can build a familiarity with this. And if uh, you still would like some more detail, I'm going to do a whole Android deep dive on list views where we'll make our own array adapter. But let's go ahead and run this just so we can see what it looks like. As you can see, we have the array, which was defined, the names array, and all the names are in place. We can scroll through them as we need to. And then when we click on any of the names, you will see that a toast pops up on the bottom with that name. And that's it for us introduction to list views, folks. As I said previously, it was just a simple introduction to list views, kind of going over how you can quickly throw them into your application if you need to. Uh, but I hope you took away from this that they are a little more complex than regular views, but they're really not that bad. And in the next episode, we're going to be going through animating views, which is going to be quite fun. I'm looking forward to that one, and uh, hopefully you are too, because it's going to be great. But anyway, until that time, I want you to have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video.